Okay, Adventure Gang, so I am so excited, and it really doesn't take much to excite me, really, but I just couldn't wait to do this video. I know I'm missing a lot of videos in between, but this one really, really got me going. So this is the easiest way ever to have an actual faucet with pumping water in your van, whether you're a car camper, a minivan camper, or a van camper, or a truck camper. This is by far the easiest way to have running water in your camper. And let me just show you how beautifully this works. So there's one button on the back, and all you have to do is press it, turns the water on, press it again, turns the water off. So this is actually a five gallon water bottle dispensing I guess faucet and it is a to be life five gallon water bottle dispenser so how did I come up with this well I originally used a Volterra rocket pump so this is a manual pump and this is what I had in its place and it's very straightforward it just has a hose and behind, actually under that faucet, is a hole that goes into my five gallon water tanks. So literally, I would just take this handle on the right hand side and pump it to dispense water. So I did it for two years and decided that I wanted to see if I can find an alternate way to do things and kind of treat myself to running water because it gets kind of onerous to wash your hands wash both of them while you're trying to pump with one hand. Same thing for doing dishes. So I did it for two years and decided to look into things and technology has kind of caught up. Yes, there have been five gallon water bottle dispensers out there before, but none that looked like this. This looks sleek. Uh, this looks like a faucet. And oh, by the way, it's USB chargeable. So let me break it down for you and show you how it's installed because I did have to kind of retrofit it into the van. So let me uh, start undoing some parts and I'll be right back. Okay, now that the screws are undone, I can show you how it works. So first and foremost, there are these cute little L brackets. I bought them on Amazon. By the way, I will link uh, some of the things that I've talked about here in the description below. Uh, it also includes this Ruvati sink, which I love by the way, because it comes with this kind of dish drying drainer it has a little little catch bucket for scraps and things. It also comes with a lid that you can stop your drain up with. So it's a beautifully made sink. Um, as you can tell, it's actually made for an undermount uh, system, but I did what I had to because I really wanted this sink. It didn't really come with mounting hardware, so I did what any DIYer would do. and. I basically mounted it with some silicone um, under the edging here. So all under here is silicone and it hasn't moved an inch besides, you know, it was, you know, cut to fit this sink so it's not going anywhere anyway. The way I mounted this is just so simple. So it's these little tiny L brackets. And what I did is I just drilled two pilot holes on each side so that I wouldn't crack the plastic unit that it is. And then under here is just a pressure fitted hose. You just put it on there and it just hasn't gone anywhere yet, so I haven't needed any extra hardware or brackets to keep it in place. And then under the sink, you can see the silicone hose. There's a hole in the back that this was fed through and it comes into my freshwater tanks. I do keep a half a teaspoon of bleach per five gallons, uh, simply because I don't want the water to get gross. I don't use this as drinking water. I just use it to wash my hands, wash the dishes, or wash anything else. Um, the Ruvati sink, it's beautifully made with this sound dampening coating so that every time something lands in the sink, it doesn't go ka-ting, ka-ting. And it also came with the um, this piece here. I don't know what it's called, but all I had to do was buy this unit to drain into my gray water tank. And that's just a Camco drain unit. 
and it was a standard fitting and the Rubati luckily had a you know standard size that it fit onto so that is basically how you can get running water without a 12 volt system and I had decided long ago because I only use the van on weekends and occasionally for a week at a time that I wasn't gonna go full on and install a 12 volt system just yet I have space to if I opt to go ahead and do it at some point in time um, but today's not that day so I wanted to keep things as simple as possible um, the backsplash is courtesy of Amazon press and stick 3d <laughs> tiles so I will put the link to that also in the description but yeah this little thing here five gallon water bottle dispenser USB chargeable easiest faucet ever uh, one of the other things I wanted to mention is that because the hose is going um, into my freshwater tanks all the way at the bottom on the floor I did have to purchase an extra silicone hose the one that comes with it is only 24 inches and I needed more than that so I had to buy uh, extra hose length the smallest I could find was 10 feet long what you have to pay attention to though is the inside diameter of the hose which is six millimeters so if you need to buy and you need to go an extra length um, six millimeter inside diameter of the hose is critically important um, I learned a long time ago what inside diameter and outside diameter meant and made my mistakes along the way so I just wanted to share that with you uh, but yeah easiest faucet ever I mean this has so many applications you can use it in your camper van your truck camper your car camper your um, your minivan camper camper you can even use this as what it was meant to be for which is to put on top of a five gallon water the package did come with a couple of adapters for different water bottle types so if you're using it for five gallon water bottles um, it, it does have I believe two different adapters that you could make work um, it's supposed to just fit right over the the neck of the bottle so um, any questions or comments just hit me up and I will try to get back to you and let me know what you think